Hi there everybody, it's UK independent stamping up demonstrator Halsey here from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thank you for joining me for a midweek mini project. Today's midweek mini project, I am using the flowering rain boots from the January mini catalogue from Stamping Up. Love this, it's a photopolymer set and I can't wait to get going. As always, I have my three card bases by the side of me for three cards. No idea, no clue, no plan, but I do know this one's going to be a really beautiful one. I actually really love the um, sort of reflective shine on all of these, so I've been looking forward to using it. Let's get started. I think I'm just going to go for a really simple one to start off with, with the plant plot and the tulips, obviously. So you can see I haven't actually used this set before, so I haven't practiced any of these. It could be a complete disaster, what do you reckon? So it's been a couple of weeks in now, I guess you've all had a chance to actually look at the new catalogue to look at celebration and all the different things. What do you think of it? Let me know in the comments. I love it. I actually think I've been at Stampin' Up! now for quite a few years and truthfully I wasn't too... Uh, in love with last year's mini catalogue you know sometimes not all stamp sets shout out to you um, but this year I think this is the best mini that we have had since I've joined Stamping Up in fact I'm going to go as the best catalogue we've had since I joined Stamping Up so I've really fell in love with it so I'm just going to reline that up I didn't do that very well there we go grab the uh do flower pot i'd be really interested to know what you guys think of it because um i know there's always sometimes people who prefer florals people who prefer pets and things like that so they don't always appeal to everybody but i just really want to sort of know right now for this one it's kind of lining up backwards because you're going to need to have the tulips on top of the tulips on top of the The flower pot so i want to make sure i'm putting the flower pot in the right place so the flower pot's going to end up about there and i'm going to do it in what color am i going to do it in sahara sand okay let's ink that up oh exciting 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 isn't that pretty i love this reflectiveness it's on the stamp set i think it's great um Oh. oh, okay, 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 okay. Look, the tulips are a step just like the Wellingtons. So the tulips go on the Wellingtons and the daily, the sort of the, yeah, these flowers come on here. Right, so my tulip card's going to be next. <laughs> I totally know what I am doing, everybody. This is going to be the flowers first. Right, that's two of my three cards all sorted because I wasn't going to use the flowers and now I am. <laughs> Which is, is all fine because I really wanted to use the plant pot. So I'm going to do the flowers in a um, mango melody. Really get the pop of colour on that because I've used um, soft suede down below. So let me just really... Whoa. Gosh, that's bright. Do I like it? I'm not 100% sure if I do. What do you think, guys? Do we like it? I'm not I'm not enamoured with it. Uh, as yet. Oh! Oh! I lost a nail. Well, nail polish, anyway. Um... Our friendship is naturally beautiful because I do like that one. This is a good video. I got all excited about the wrong set. I've now stamped this set. I'm not that keen on it. And I've, uh, I've pulled one of my, my nails off. Very sad times. But you know what I say. When I do the midweek minis, I keep going whether I like it or not. Whether it works or whether it doesn't. 
Right, I'm going to grab my blending brush here, my, my blender pen. That's these. And I'm just going to grab some of this colour that's already in the flowers and I'm just going to feed it through and just give it a bit more. You see what I'm doing? I'm just making it fade out with a bit more yellow. I'll bring it up so you can actually see what I've done once I've finished it. I've just used the pool of the crush of the mango melody that was in there. <sighs> Use the pool of the mango melody that was in the middle, and I've just pulled the colour out like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my blending brush. I'm going to grab pale papaya, ink that up, and then I'm just going to put. that colour over the background just to sort of give it a haze. There we go, like that. And that is pretty much my first card. I feel like I dislike it because it's not the tulips and I wanted the tulips. So I think I'm being very unfair on it. I think generally I could like it if I allowed myself to like it, you know? You know, sometimes when you're just disappointed because it's not what you wanted. But I generally still think it's nice, actually. I think I was being a bit unfair on it. Right, but I'm going to do the tulips with the next one. Definitely, definitely. The tulips are coming out. Let me get a card base again. Oh, there we go. I think that's two. It is two. Wellington booties this time. I am going tulip tulips. <laughs> Let's line those up. I'm still going to use my soft suede. I honestly love this effect on this set. It is beautiful. It really is. Right. Now I've got my... There we go. Look at... There we go. That's how that's going to work. Garden green. Just so you know, tulips are actually my favourite flower. Love them. In the right season, I always have a bouquet of... Oh, look! Look how beautiful that is! I love it, love it, love it. See, this is why I was sulky about the first card, obviously, because I was looking forward to just using these stamp sets. And, oh, what colour is my tulips going to be? Now, I like yellow tulips. We did yellow on the other ones, so I'm going to go really bright, really bright. I'm going to come in with Melon Mambo. Real pow here. Yeah, there we go. Line it up on my stalks. And stamp. Oh, I love it. Oh, do you know what? I think that's the best card I've made in ages. I knew I was going to love this, so I'm going to do exactly the same. I've got a clean blending brush. Oh my gosh. That went dark. I should have thought about that and I should have dragged it onto a spare piece of paper, but that's okay. Because even though I don't like that, I'm going to fix that. Don't worry. Right. Uh, doo -doo -doo. I'm going to go for our friendship is naturally beautiful again because I've actually already got that out. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. And a scrap piece of basic white. Our friendship is naturally beautiful. A punch now. I wonder if this will work for my favourite punch. My favourite punch is the um, postage label punch, but I'm not sure if this is going to be too fat. It fit. Everything about this is just perfect now. We're on to a roll, people. 
So that's going to go just there. Brilliant. So I can actually bring that pink down a bit lower. Right, you watch me go and mess this up again. But it's okay this time because I can actually start this there and drag it down because I know where my postage label is going to cover it up and it's going to cover it up just there. There we go. <gasps> yes. I'm going to give this card to myself, I think, and tell myself that our friendship's naturally beautiful. <laughs> I love it. Right, I'm using up all of my um, dimensionals. I have so many of them. I really do. And I'm cutting them all down. So I'm just going to do that. Because otherwise, you keep getting to the end of them. You keep having the sides left. You start new ones. And it's annoying me. So I am starting to cut them all down and use them all. Our friendship is naturally beautiful. Yes. Oh, this card, it is hands down winning. Let's put some prettiness on it. Let's really just, oh, I know what I want to use. Pebbles enamel shapes. I've been wanting to use these since I had them. These are also from the mini catalogue. Love, love, love. I'm going to use these ones here because I think they go nicely with the... Um, What I've, what I've done, I haven't even gone in a line there. I'm just so excited, look. I should go for that one for good measure, shouldn't I? But I am gonna try and keep in the same area. Oh, oh. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Brilliant, okay, this is my second card. Don't know what I'm gonna do for the third, but I tell you what, I'm really gonna have to pull it out because at the moment, this one's kind of winning hands down. It is. Right, where's me my, um, my glue gone? There it is. Card one, card two. Actually, I'm liking card one. Now card two's done and I fell in love with it. I'm, I'm liking card one again. I was just being sulky before, wasn't I? Right. So. This one. I'm going to use the watering can. Oh, do you know what, everyone? I'm going I'm, I'm, to... It's going to have to happen. The Wellington boots are back in. I love them. Wellington boots... I'm not even sorry, by the way, of doing this again. Really not. <laughs> just, I love it. Just gonna pop some scrap under there. Oh, just look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, this is the stamp set that you should get. And I bet quite a few people, actually, because it didn't look fantastic in the sort of catalogue. It just sort of, you know, was there. So I bet a few people overlooked it and they really shouldn't have done because it's so beautiful. Right, watering can. I've done this in, I, oh, I thought I'd done it in soft sea foam. I haven't. I've done it in pear pizzazz. Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, and I'm going to, yes, I'm going to put me, um, me plant pot back on as well. Because I, I don't think I was very fair to that. But I'm going to put it half off. Oh, I should have covered that up with me scrap. Oh, what am I like? But I'm going to use a different colour this time. What colour am I going to use this time? I'm going to go a bit lighter because I felt it was a bit... 
bright on its own last time, which was fine on its own, but not fine when it's with my tulip. So I'm going to use So Saffron this time and put it on there like that. Oh, yes. Jo, I'm loving this. Um, live life in full bloom. There we go. What a sentiment. Live life in full bloom, everybody. In tulip bloom. I'm so happy that I managed to get those looking so good. I think they're lovely. And I'm just trying to work out. You fit. Yes, that fits. Who knew that would happen? That fits perfectly in the watering can. Let me show you. Wow. That was meant to be. Right. I've still got the uh, So Saffron out. And I don't want that actually with that. I'm going to grab... Um, where's the... Do, 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 do Soft Suede. No, that's Paper Zaz. That's not what I want. <laughs> it's not Soft Suede either. It's Sahara Sand. The colour I've used for the Wellingtons and for the plant part. I'll tell you what, I've just got distracted by this Tulips. So I'm just going to grab that and I'm just going to come around sort of the bottom of this card, make it sort of look sort of earthy. Live life in full bloom. Love it, love it, love it. I'll tell you what, this this stamp set. If you didn't have this on your list, everyone, please put it on your list. It's amazing. Amazing. Might be my new favourite stamp set. I thought the um, other tulip set would be actually, but it could be this one because I've every card from now on is going to have tulips and Wellington boots. Right, card three, card two, card one. Card two is my favourite, but I actually love all of them. Which is your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks, everybody. Lovely to see you for this week's midweek mini series. You can purchase everything I've used today from slimandstylish.stampingup.net. Thanks, everybody. See you all soon. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. All items that I have used on this video are available to purchase from my store www.slimandstylish.stampingup.net Alternatively, if you would like a copy of our catalogues, please send me an email to slimandstylish at live.co.uk or leave me a comment below and I'll get in touch with you. I upload regular content to this channel, so if you do enjoy watching my tutorials, please make sure that you have subscribed and rang the bell to get notifications when new videos go live. Thank you for joining me and have a lovely day.